hurt your back Dragging all them bags like that I said nobody ever told you All you must hold on to Is you, is you Oh yes it's true <clears throat> One day he gon' say You crowd in my space <laughs> Anyway Hello guys, it's Veda, day 10. I had to re-upload day 9 because no one told me all you had <laughs> was audio and no visual except one person that evening said, I think it's something wrong with the video. I thought it was my phone at first, but it's not. And I'm really trying to make an effort to watch your videos every day and like them. Oh, like, oh, you are appreciated. So all of you out there in video land, internet land, thank you for trying to make an effort to watch my vid vid videos every day and like them. I got merch. I'm so excited. It came early. Okay. I'm gonna have a seat and we're gonna go through these, okay? So I'll be back. That's a little bit better. Okay. All right. So I'm having a show this Thursday coming up. And I'm having another one on the 29th of um, this month. And... The one coming up this Thursday is more of a art show slash event situation. My nails always want to break as soon as they start getting some length on them. Anyway, so I haven't done like that. But that's not... Anyway, I got an art event. Two of them this month. One is this week. And I got some merchandise. First, let me show you the t-shirts. So, I did this baby, and y'all know I worked on her when I was working on the postcards, but then I decided that she needed a crown. So, when I did the crown part, I did that with the prints. So, I had already decided, though, I mean, I had, no, had already ordered the t-shirts before I got, before I decided to give her a crown. So, these don't have... The crown on her but the ones on my website do and I just think that that really adds a nice touch to the piece but yeah I got a black one and I got a purple one and these are available at the rich and I'm still constantly creating new art because I really want to start creating some lighter complexions people with more loose curled hair um, maybe even some of my I do have a few paintings of Caucasian women. Um, one's a nude, at least a topless nude. And then one, she has the ram horns. Um, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, and then I have another one that's kind of racially ambiguous. But anyway, so she could kind of speak to whoever sees her. But yeah, I don't have a lot. I tend to do paint women who are more my complexion. I think I just paint what, what I identify as, you know, so that's what just naturally comes to me instantly, and so, yeah, but I am creating more, especially now that I have this this nice pen that I be on my tablet just doing up stuff. Anyway, and the cool thing is that these were faces that I had done from a long time ago, so I can go in there and paint the faces again and make them look like totally different women, you know. So yeah, I loved her cheekbones oh. and her eye. I mean, she's just a pretty, this is a pretty, this is just a pretty face that I mocked up. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's fold that back up. I got to work fast on this camera because it tends to overheat and that's why a lot of times I vlog. Or do a lot of stuff on my phone. And I'm just so grateful for the technology and the advancements of our mobile devices. Because 
sometimes the camera is just like, I just be feeling lazy. Like, I don't feel like it. And see, I can edit everything right there on my mobile device. Put all kinds of cool filters and cool little effects and transitions right from my mobile device. And never even turn on my laptop. Alright, this is the same face, but a little bit more of a funky thing. She's got the little turquoise looking locks and the big frame cat eye glasses and this beautiful abstract background. I thought I ordered another app piece that I did and it was also abstract, but apparently I didn't. And I looked at the invoice. I didn't leave anything off. I did not order it. But I will. I will. I plan to have definitely more of the actual garment pieces for the spring summer um for different events all right so now we have the melon tote bag this is faux leather um but straps are i don't know what the straps are they feel like they feel nice <laughs> this is not real leather you know me trying to be cruelty free and everything but it's still a very well made bag very well made. It's got the little feet on the bottom. The hardware is nice and sturdy. And then the inside, you get the, um, I have it stuffed so that they stay nice and full. But you get this lovely inside pocket on one side. And then you get on the other side, those nice inside pockets. So it's really a nice bag. Dad, the front is very cut on. And you know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway. If you watch any of my videos, you see how I feel about the furnace when it cuts on. I'll be trying to time it so that I could do the videos right after it cuts off. But I didn't think about that because I'm just trying to get Veda up for today because I didn't vlog all day. I can't believe I didn't pick up my camera not once to make a video. You know what it is? Because I went live on Instagram talking about these bags and that probably kind of made me feel like I did something. But I didn't. Alright, so we also have... Oh, this is my actual purse, and it's kind of heavy. So, <laughs> we also have, and I love it so much that I decided to empty out my other Melanin Queen Keeper of Melanin um, bag that I designed for myself personally and carry one of these for the spring summer look. This, I mean, you know, it's for whenever you want it to be, but yeah, the light is kind of glaring on it. But she's in the black with the white strap. On the website, you have other color choices you can make from the, with the straps. You can pick a, a, a red strap. You can pick a pink strap. You can pick a blue strap. Did I? I think I made you pick all the choices of the different color straps they have for this particular bag. Or it might have just been the red one. I can't remember. I know the other bags that have that choice. Okay, so now we have... The Emerald Queen in the white. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh! She looks so good. And they're so vivid. I mean, look at the detail on these things, guys. It looks as good as the painting did. Do you remember that painting? I keep trying to remember to look at the, the lens. That's another reason why I don't... I like to use my phone because I find that I... I think the viewfinder I keep I just keep looking at that all right so we have that same bag with the black strap oh my gosh I couldn't decide between carrying this but only have one of these so I'd be like no I'll just carry the one I have multiples of so pretty and I love the black strap a strap once again they have this little nice little hardware on there you can maybe put a little fancy little thingy on there or hook your keys onto it um the inside like i said has the zipper closure has the feet on the bottom it has one um zipper closure on the inside is as an inside pocket and it has the two pockets on this side and i think i'm going to do a promotion for these like right now if you order i might give throw in some something like a print or something all right, so this is my personal one that I'm carrying. I'm carrying the black with the white strap melon queen, keeper of melon. And in here, this has got a nice little, I mean, this is a nice size purse. I have my wallet, my journal, 
my planner, um, keys, a little makeup case, um, my sunglasses, my tablet, and then in the little pockets I have some stylus, some money, some chewing gum, in the pocket with the zipper I have my business cards, my card readers for my point of sales transactions, a compact, some change, all of this that I transferred from the other purse. So it carries a lot of stuff and you have a good amount of compartments to put stuff in. Everything then just have to drop down to the bottom. Now this is the other tote. It doesn't have a face. It's just the beautiful botanical background. So I'm also going to put her, not her background, but just her. Although she might, the whole background might look good on a purse. I'm going to mock up and see. But I might just put her image on this particular background and center her on one of the bags. And then I also had another one that my daughter, that she ordered for herself. And I'm just going to have to probably insert a picture of that one because she's already got her stuff in it and it's upstairs in her room and I'm not about to go all the way up there and get the bag for you uh so I'll just insert a picture and um, I'll insert some more pictures as well so you can just see them photographed all nice and pretty and that is it that concludes beta day what's today 10 yeah which will go up. I don't know. I might. You know, oh. Let me tell y'all. How my children. Want to stress me out. You know. I got one. That's getting ready to have surgery on Friday. And she couldn't help. But she has. This alien fibroid growing in her. We call it that. Because you know. We like to refer to it as an alien baby. Because we have a weird sense of humor like that. Um, but. She has that procedure. To have that removed. On Friday. Thursday is my show and um, after that you know I'll be pretty much catering to her you know Thursday night I'll come home late get up early get her to, to the, uh, get across town to the hospital and however long that procedure takes we'll be there and then come on when, you know I don't know I've never had to wait on anybody like I've never had to do this before you know I, I assume that I'll just be at the hospital till she's ready to go indefinitely you know I know it's not a major surgery so it's not like she's going to be there for a long period of time but I'm assuming that my Friday is going to be spent at the hospital and probably my Saturday as well I probably will come home and if I come home and um, shower and eat and then go back up there so that's that she can't help that. It's kind of and it's and it's kind of put her life on pause. You know, she's been not doing anything for like the last month and a half, maybe. She's been so at one point she was fully incapacitated because of the pain. Luckily, they gave her medicine that helped, and then also once it started to die, the pain also started to subside. Now, um, so. Her goal is to get better so she can get back to work, get her savings account stacked back up because co-pays have been kind of like out the wazoo. And sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. So sometimes she has to take care of it. And um, um, I'm grateful that I raised them to be independent enough to, you know, do that because I know that a lot of times when we are finding ourselves in a place where we're kind of well off or doing okay that we enable our children to not be as independent but anyway that's not that's that's not here neither here nor there because they still find ways to somehow stress you out is what i'm saying my son has not been driving a year yet he's had three cars he had an accident in december and then tonight he hit a pole a lamp pole and the lamp pole fell on the car so it was drivable he was able to drive it home he's okay all of that he's just got to replace the windshield and there's something leaking underneath the hood even though the hood's not damaged or the front's not damaged but something obviously got broken or something broke off or something that's leaking antifreeze so we have to have that looked at 
And um, these are the times where it's just like, I told you, you gotta you gotta work on your savings account and stop spending and living paycheck to paycheck just because you don't have any major bills. You should have a bank account that looks crazy because emergencies like this happen. And the accident in the winter shot my car insurance through the roof. It was already high because he was a new driver. He's a male. You know, all that stuff. And it just shot it through the roof. I can imagine that this is probably going to do the same thing once the state sends a bill. And I'm thinking, like, depending on the bill, we don't need to get them involved. <laughs> we can just make it work it out with the state. Maybe they could even take your state income tax next year, you know, and call it a day. <laughs> we'll work something out, depending on how much it is. We don't need the insurance to go up any further, and I don't want them to drop you. Or drop us. <laughs> I'm the one with the clean driving record. Have had one for as long as I've been driving for the most part. But anyway, you know, these children, they just be trying to stress me out. they good kids, but just having kids out in the world doing things, especially brown kids, you just, it's just a certain yoke that's always on around right your neck when you have something that has crawled out of your body <laughs> and you care about it and you just like, you're not prepared in any capacity for what could be something traumatic. So you don't even want to even go there in your mind of what that could look like, you know, other than God, just please be there to give me strength. But he's getting me through this even now. Cause people are like, why aren't you more stressed? Why aren't you more whatever? And I'm like, because he keeps me in perfect peace as long as I keep my mind stayed on him. That's, that's it. That's it. Because especially if I uh, associate myself with any of the people around me, a lot of them are panicky people. People who worry. People who get stressed out. People who get anxious. So I can't afford to be that way. So anyway, oh, let me show you my bag before I had emptied it out. <clears throat> this was the one I designed specifically for me and it's like a little the boston shape you know that a lot of people like when they get those monogram bags like the lv bags or mcm um mark jacobs but i think i i used to have i still do have it somewhere uh, a burgundy mark jacobs it's kind of like a plummy color purple like this too like the darker purple and um it's this shape and size and it has side pockets like that too so yeah but this is my design I'm the artist that designed this and that's the one I was carrying so I'm just, I, I don't know I might switch back but right now I want to market the spring summer collection so I'm carrying this you know and I just think it's a little bit more of an eye catcher because it has the words on it but people have asked me, oh, I love your bag. Where'd you get that from? And I hand them one of my business cards. And um, I've had orders, but no one has ordered this particular one. So I don't know if that's the same people who asked for the cards and got on the website and maybe saw another one that they liked more or what. But I'm grateful for all the sales that I get. Because it's just... You know, paintings don't sell quite as fast as the merchandise does. The merchandise is what keeps me fed and keeps the cell phone on, keeps the car insurance going. You know, the monthly residual bills that come every month. The merchandise takes care of that. The merchandise is what really put me into a place where I could be like, I ain't got to do no more hair. That, I'm good. Like, I still like it when clients call me and say, hey, can you come do my hair? I appreciate that but it's not like now I'm like oh my god I haven't heard from so-and-so I wonder if it's time for her to get her she, 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 I'm gonna text her and see if she you know you know I don't have to do that now so <laughs> ain't he good won't he do it hallelujah 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 Halle okay let me stop besides it's like one in the morning and that's making me hot all this hair be making me hot. All these lights on making me hot. I need to take these clothes off. 
I might just be having a hot flash. I don't know. But peace and grace, everybody. See you tomorrow on the video. Tomorrow, I'm doing a sketchbook tour. Yeah. I'm doing the sketchbook tour. It's on and popping. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and film it now while I got all these lights on and stuff and everything shining on me. And film that now. Edit it now. No, I'm not going to edit it now. I'll edit it tomorrow because I got to edit this. <laughs> Bye, y'all.